Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and uh, welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we, we find ourselves in Galveston, Texas, with a pair of frauditors going about their usual frauditor business, and apparently somebody calls them in as drunk and disorderly. So as a result, one gets arrested and a vehicle gets towed. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You're watching the footage of Lafayette County audits driving into Galveston city limits. First time in Texas. This man's been driving all day. He left Mississippi, drove through Louisiana, and drove halfway through Texas to meet Good Citizen News and News Now Ninja. And as soon as he crossed the Galveston city line, he got pulled over and got arrested for a felony third offense DUI with no evidence of a DUI or probable cause. But we're going to get into that. Okay, so we've got Harvey Freebird narrating the intro right here. So we're already too off to a bad start because we know he's going to lie about the whole damn thing. And in addition, he's, Lafayette County Audits is going to go... Uh, pay a visit to uh, Good Citizen News and G uh, News Now Ninja. So you know that's going to be a trio from hell right there. A disaster waiting to happen. But anyway, let's carry on, shall we, and see how this goes down. We are oh, Well, we got, we're got already getting pulled over. Already getting pulled over. Yes, sir. Officer Murphy, GPD, you got your driver's license, man? Uh, yeah, can I ask what you pulled me over for? Yeah, sure, several things. Fail to maintain a single lane, turn signal. I was, I was, I, I'm new. Uh, this is the first time being over here, so I was trying to find it. Trying to find my friends. All right, you got your driver's license? Um, I actually don't, but I can, uh, I can give you my number. Are you stupid, or are you just a sovereign citizen who believes that you don't need a driver's license? Oh, wait. Both of those are incredibly stupid anyway, because you know it's required to have a driver's license when you operate a motor vehicle when you travel, and if you don't have it, you're going to get some fines and penalties, and if you uh, are not a licensed driver, it's going to be much worse for you in a lot of states. Okay. you have any form of ID on you? Uh, I don't. Okay. No. Never roll your window down any more than just a little crack for two reasons. You don't want them reaching in and grabbing you, and you don't want them lying like these cops are going to lie and say that they smelled your breath and smelled alcohol on your breath, which is exactly what's going to happen. You can say everything you need to say through that little crack, and you can present your ID and your driver's license and your insurance paperwork up against the glass. The law says you have to present it, not hand it to them. Oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense, Harvey Liar Bird. Because you know it makes so much sense that uh your alcoholic breath won't go through a little crack in the window. I mean, come on, dude. If there's alcohol on your breath, it's going to make it through that little crack. And they're going to smell it. It's, it's almost as if Harvey Liarbird lacks any common sense whatsoever. But let's carry on. What's your number? It is, uh, 801. Wait, so, so, before I give you this, before I give you this, you said that I was failing, failing to maintain a lane. I've actually got the, the, uh, cam right here that shows that, that I was driving straight. I was literally... That's fine, I've got my camera too. Okay. okay. Um, are you gonna give me your number? What state is that out of? Mississippi. Mississippi? What's your last name? Reardon. It's what? Reardon. Reardon. Can you spell that for me, please? R E A R D O N. R E A D. R E A R D O N. And your first name, sir? Matthew. Birthday? Alright, Mr. Matthew. Uh, anything in the view? Can I be aware of guns, no. guys, or anything like that? Nothing at all. Okay. Hang tight. 
a little longer than a few minutes later. How are you doing, mate? Ah, oh, just touring Galveston. First time being to Texas. First time being to Texas? Yeah, hadn't been through Texas. Uh, I do a lot of traveling around the country, but this is the first time actually coming through Texas. Wanted to see Galveston. You ordered him in? Uh, I don't answer questions. Wow, the cop comes right out and asks him, are you an auditor? Gee, it's almost as if First Amendment auditors uh, are giving themselves their own bad reputation, so much so that the cops are out on the lookout for them. I mean, will wonders never cease? I'm sure that has nothing to do with the fact that most of them are criminals. <laughs> What's up, guys? He said, uh, I don't know, he said basically failure to maintain light. But I mean, I've got dash cam right here. I was trying to look out to see where the gas station was. And hey, man, you said it's your first time here? Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Uh, it's Matthew. I mean, y'all look, look. Okay, do you have his license on you? No. It's Matthew. Matthew, what? Reardon. Matthew what? Reardon. Reardon. Reardon doesn't exactly suit you. I think it'd be Weirdon at this point because you frauditors are nothing but a bunch of dumbass weirdos anyway. So I think that fits a lot more because of that. Well, weirdness. Yeah, Matthew Weirdon. Weirdon, weirdo. Where you going, Matthew Weirdon, weirdo? Where are you headed to, man? Right here. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Meet up some friends. Okay. They're literally the ones taping you right now. Okay. I'm live on YouTube. All right, Mr. Matthew, I'm going to ask you a question. I need you to be honest with me, okay? Yeah. All right, have you been drinking tonight, man? Not a single thing. Okay, then why can my smell call come from the car? Uh, I hadn't had a drink, uh, dropped a drink for three years. Nothing for three, three years. Three years. Three years, okay? No alcohol. No alcohol. None. Okay. Can you still have the vehicle, Mr. Matthew? Sure. I just pulled the mask down in blue. You don't have a single... Matt, you walk back here with me, man? Yeah. So you're telling me, Mr. Matthew, you haven't had a drink in three years? Three years. Okay. All my kids. Huh? All my kids. Three, three years. years. Wait a second, Frauditor. If you've got children, uh, why the hell did you leave them st several states over to come over to Texas and uh, do some frauditing uh, runs with uh, uh, people you've never hung out with before? I mean, it, which is more important? Uh, your uh, friends over here that are probably going to get you into some criminal trouble? Or your children that need their father at some point. I mean, priorities, dude. But of course, you frauditors uh, don't exactly have priorities when it comes to your families. That's something I've noticed. And it is a crying ass shame. All right, Mr. Matthew, you mind doing some tests? Make sure Katie's driving, man. I mean, there's. Do you smell alcohol in my breath? I hadn't had a single thing to drink. I answer my question. I'm not taking your field sobriety tests are designed to fail. You know it and I know They're it. Not designed to fail. The first one's scientific. How about this? Let me blow. Huh? I'll blow. You want to blow? I'll blow. Okay, you understand. If yes, you, I understand. I haven't had a let, drop to drink. Let me explain something to you. I haven't had a drop to drink. Let me explain something to you, okay? I have not had a drop to drink. Okay, I'm understand that. Okay. I understand you're saying that, okay? What I'm telling you is you understand that. If you blow it, I have to place you under arrest. Yes. Well, now, that's something I've never heard of before, that you have to place them under arrest before you give the uh, uh, breathalyzer. I mean, that seems rather unique. 100%. Okay. Yeah. Go get it. I, that's not how it works. We don't, okay. we don't go get it. We go to the machine. Okay. No, sir. No, that's sir. A, that's, how, that's where the machine's at. No, no. Call supervisor. The supervisor's right, right there. Uh, we're not doing this. No, no, I'm taking it right here. No, I won't even take it. Mr. Matthew. Yeah, I refuse Are it. Are you willing? You're refusing? Ask for your lawyer. You're refusing? I want a lawyer. Yeah, I don't need to give you a lawyer. Are you refusing the field sobriety test? I said I will blow. Okay. We have to go to Bring the it jail. here. Y'all have portable tests. Y'all have portable tests. No, we don't. No, we do not. We don't. We don't have them. I don't know what to tell you. We don't. The only one we have is at the police station. 
the only one we have. You got a supervisor? I am a supervisor. Right here. What's your name and badge number? Sergeant Jack Doherty, 344. 344. Dude, you're doing it all wrong. You're doing it all wrong. You should be going up the chain of command. I mean, this guy shouldn't be uh, good enough for you. You should be requesting lieutenants, captains, majors, the president of the United States. You should be going up the chain of command. This isn't how it works. Do better. And you are... I've already told you. I know, I know. What is it again? Officer Osteen, 692. Osteen. You are? Murph, 617. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ask you one more time, Mr. Matthew. Will you consent to fill sobriety test? Um, no, not. I said I'll blow. Otherwise, that, take that, me into custody. Okay. Hey, can you get hey can you get my uh gimbal? Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean that really got out of hand fast. I, I'm just I don't see the probable cause. Reckless driving? Well, that's what I asked you. Why didn't you say that to begin with? No, you said he's under arrest for suspicion of DUI. That's not a charge, though. Yeah, but that's not what you said. Suspicion of DUI isn't a crime. No, but uh, refusing to take the sobriety test is an arrestable offense. And, well, he most certainly did refuse to take the uh, breathalyzer and every other part of the sobriety test because he thought it was going to be, well, uh, stacked up against him, which really leads me to believe that he was drunk to begin with. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.